Shalom everyone. And today in this short video, we're on a, trying to find out if powdered butter can be used the same as regular butter to uh, fry foods, cook foods in a long-term grid down situation. This isn't a video to compare these two brands of butter. It just happens to be the two that I have. Okay, so first, let's just look at the regular butter just so we have something to compare to. And so here is the real butter for comparison. Now let's go to our powdered butters. And again, this is not a video comparing these two powdered butters. These directions are from the Augustine Farm uh, powdered butter. However, the uh, Hoosier Farms is the one that I actually had open, Hoosier Hill Farm, so that's the one that we're going to use. Augustine Farm directions and Hoosier Hill powder. And the indoor homestead kitchen where we found our Berkey water filter. The finished product ready for the big test. So let's go to the stove, get it turned on, skillet on the stove heating up, and our butter that we made. Here's the results. It, it just doesn't melt. So it appears powdered butter would not be a good option for frying in in a long-term grid down situation, but it still has many, many good uses. It is still good to use in recipes that call for butter. You can use the powdered butter, and we'll be doing a lot of these uh, recipes in the coming videos, making lots of them. And this, the powdered butter still has a place in our preps, and it should yours too. And now to compare our powdered butter, here it is. And now let's go ahead and look at the finished product of the real butter. And there you have it. Thank you, and we'll see you soon.